Hey guys, I want to share a quick video before I release some other words this week um, about a response to two themes that I've noticed of attack that have um, come through people's words against whenever I release a word on the on the channel. They really um, there's kind of a theme to two different ways people have come against um, what the Lord is having me say or doing through this but i believe it's an actually a bigger attack that's against the body of christ really embracing uh what the lord is doing through his spirit right now in the earth and that he is operating more and more through prophecy and revelatory dreams and visions so i want to um, i took a little bit to make sure my heart was right um, and i pray that my heart is right as i release a response to these two attacks um, and I actually believe the Lord will use, it, use this response to exhort and encourage many of you um, and he'll flip what the enemy meant to attack to actually bring um, encouragement. So the first attack that has come kind of um, consistently against me as I've shared uh, prophecy and some of these dreams and visions is who do you think you are that you can hear from God and that you have a word from the Lord and why should I listen to you? Who are you? And of course, at first I was offended when I heard this word, but um, uh, after I sat with it, I actually um, was able to kind of laugh about um, uh, when I thought about it because it's true. Um, I am of no great significance. I don't, I'm not a famous person. I don't have a platform, um, uh, you know, on my own news station or whatever i'm i'm a person of obscurity I, I'm, I'm someone that's unknown and so i laughed about it but then i thought that is how the lord operates he chooses people out of obscurity that that don't already have aren't already superstars or um and, and don't get me wrong he can use famous people and people that already have a huge platform but as we study the scripture we see that the lord often chooses people that would call themselves a nobody or out of obscurity to um, to share what he's doing in the earth and to re and to push forward his plan in the earth and so I hope this encourages you that if you feel like who am I that God could speak to me or use me um, I don't I'm of no significance really at least publicly or in the natural world that um, that is a lie from the enemy that you can't be used or that you can't hear the voice of God simply because you are um, from the world's perspective obscure and I believe the Lord does that because he gets the glory in that and so I just want to encourage you with that 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 is actually how the Lord operates and that the word of the Lord says that he desires that all should prophesy so that um, prophecy is actually the Holy Spirit taking what the Father is saying and doing and revealing it to his people. And so we all are able to hear the voice of the Lord and prophesy when, it's, when it applies and needs to be shared because it's not a personal word. So I hope that encourages you. And then the other lie that's really come against um, me on this channel, but I believe is more an attack against the bride um, and the Holy Spirit is uh, so you had a dream. Why should I listen to or care about your dream? And um, really, that's just a misunderstanding of the word of God. Um, it's, it's not my dream that's special. It's actually a vision in the night that the Lord gave and, is, and it speaks to his people. And it's, that is one of the main ways that God actually speaks throughout the Bible is through dreams and visions, both open and closed, but a very common way that the Lord speaks um, and that he never said anywhere in scripture that he would stop speaking or operating this way is through dreams. I think sometimes we have an easier time accepting that when we hear about it happening in third world nations or in other nations around the earth. But in the Western world, uh, there's there's a lie that permeates, um, that has kind of come against this idea that God still speaks and that he speaks to, uh, that he speaks to his people and, and, and it could speak to anyone. It doesn't have to be a famous person. And that oftentimes he does it through dreams and visions because that's 
how he operated throughout the whole of scripture. So I just hope this encourages you. If you are receiving dreams or visions or hear the Lord speaking to you, that you don't have to be what the world would call a famous person or already have some huge platform to um, to be able to hear from the Lord and to be able to release and prophesy what the Lord is saying. And I would encourage you that what I have done, um, I've been studying and seeking the Lord and um, really becoming a student of the Holy Spirit over the past three and a half years so that um, so that I can learn his voice. And, and oftentimes if he speaks to me through a dream or a vision, I'll take some weeks, sometimes months to release what he's saying, not because I I know it's him, but I want to make sure I carry his heart and that I'm I'm um, sitting with it to make sure I'm releasing what he's actually saying. So I just want to encourage you with that today and um, bless those who maybe have come against uh, the, the prophecy or dreams or even just me personally. I just want to bless you and pray that, that, that studying the scripture and understanding the ways of God may change your mind on that.